like most things that started off partly a mistake. I, I saw this poster about doing a competition, and I thought it meant the history of Salford. Could have been any part of Salford, demolition, rebuilding, anything. There was so much to put in, and it gave up on two occasions, and it took me three months to paint this as it is now. Mainly, I had to decide the major events, more or less per century, the coal fields and everything, under the compression of the ice, thousands of tonnes over a million years or so, actually formed the coal fields of Salford and Manchester, which were the basis of the Industrial Revolution. It was mentioned, as I've shown there, in the Doomsday Book. That's the first more or less written uh, reference to Salford. But the next major event, really, is when they uh, decided to build the Bridgewater Canal. The population then, at the time, was about 4,700. Transport on the, on the water, the Bridgewater Canal, and then the Manchester Ship Canal, it all ties in together. Jordan, these two sections here on your on your right hand side, these have these are particular of significance to yourself, aren't they? Yeah, mainly because I, I was in the Marines myself, uh, seven years in uh, two commando units, four two commando, four five commando, and I found that at the charge of the Light Brigade in the Crimean War, 1854, Joseph Malone, who came from Eccles, won the VC. So I tried to depict the the charge of the cavalry against the rough brutality of the Russian cannons. From there, the next really major thing that affected uh, the whole world, in fact, as well as Salford and England, was the First World War. Uh, each town and village had their own uh, pals, as they were called. These kind of posters were telling you you had to join to prove like you were a man and all this kind of stuff. The first pals of 2,000 people were recruited in five weeks. But all it turned out to be, the actual First World War, was all death and destruction, shell fire, because it was mainly the first action where they had the machine gun against horses. And then in the Second World War, the Luftwaffe came, obviously bombed sulphur docks, and in the Blitz, everything was burning and... Uh, destroyed and then it was mainly that uh, destruction that made them develop first skyscraper in 1956 John Mills came to Salford and uh, he made the film Hobson's Choice because it had the industrial outlook he was looking for then of course in the 60s the famous Rovers return started up on Coronation Street, which is now still worldwide. Moving to modern times, the, the BBC moved to Salford Keys and the new premises, so I had to get the Salford Keys shown. It's been suggested I could make digital uh, photographs of it and actually sell copies to anybody who wants to buy a copy, actual size. So I'm still working on that project.